Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for July 31st, 2020, last day of the month. And what I want to talk to you about today is just a brief business briefing regarding how gratitude affects the employees that you have and how working with them can make such a difference if you apply that attitude of gratitude. And in several of the companies I worked with, I wanted to mention a couple of key elements that really worked out well for people. One was MBWA management by walking around. You manage your people by walking around and saying hello to them and expressing your gratitude to them for the job that they're doing, the impact that they've had on the business, the company, whatever it might be. There was also so what we called recognition meetings, where they did three types of recognition, speaking of gratitude, that I thought were really, really great. Number one, it was a big meeting. So there is somebody being awarded their presentation, their award, their, their meeting, their goals, whatever it might be in front of the crowd. So there was public recognition. Number two, they were actually brought up for the public recognition. Number two, they were given a nice card. So it was a written form of recognition. Dear David, great job yesterday. Thank you so much to the management. And third, Thirdly, there was a monetary uh, award as well with like a hundred dollar bill. So you had public recognition, the written recognition, so that person could hold on to that card forever, and the monetary recognition inside. So three ways, very, very powerful way to recognize somebody and have it really sink in and know that you're truly great for them too. And I mentioned something a while back in a briefing about how there was two criteria in this one company that I worked for, hire the nicest people that you could find and train them to do what you need them to do. And number two is if you can't, or number two rather, is that you can't make a jerk into a nice person. So if you hire really great people, you train them what you need to do, you'll end up having great customer service, which is what so many people are seeking in their companies. And two of the criteria was they wanted the person to have a burning desire to give the greatest customer service that is possible. So if they're a nice person and they had a burning desire to give the great customer service that people deserve, then they were going to be hired. And it is all about attitude and how you empower those people. I've, I've talked earlier about how you ask somebody to do something. Would you do me a favor? It's the same type of thing. And then when you have the ultimate empowerment, it's one of those things that you give the empowerment. You give the power rather to the employee. So they have the ability to make a, a situation right that is wrong or correct something rather than having to go through steps of management, something that's very powerful. Uh, lastly, setting goals. This is something I love. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. And number three, a plan with action taken makes your dreams come true. A plan with action taken makes your dream come, dreams come true. So it's all about getting that date, writing it down, getting that goal, breaking into steps, getting a plan of action, and then taking, taking those uh, action steps. And lastly, I just want to say one thing about time management and getting organized. It doesn't matter what your system is, just get one. There's so many great systems out there just to get one that works for you. If you want to remember things by writing them on your hand, that's fine. Just get a system that works. That's the daily gratitude business briefing for today. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit. We'll see you on Monday.